You know, one of the most common questions that I get these days is, how many cameras is the Autopilot 9 system, along with the blind spot monitoring, actually using in the car? So today we're going to go for a little drive, and we're going to set out to prove it. I have a feeling it's all eight, but uh, we're going to use a little bit of painter's tape to find out. So as you can see here, I got my little GoPro camera and we're gonna use this to uh, record the instrument panel. And secondly, most importantly, is the footage you're gonna be seeing today has been taken by my new Blackview 900S dash cam. This is a uh, 4K dash cam. So let's go for a little drive. We're gonna do a little control test first and uh, we'll start taping up some cameras. Now, just as a reminder, for those of you who are asking, I'm showing you a Model X. It has the same autopilot cameras, the same computer, the same sensor, the same radar. Everything's exactly the same between this car and the Model 3. The only difference is I have an instrument panel and this data is shown on the first third of the Model 3 screen. So you can keep the comments down. It's the same stuff. So before we begin, we actually have to do a little bit of a control test. I want you to take a look at the instrument panel and the cameras that are facing out so you can see exactly what the autopilot system sees. So we're just coming up to a few cars here on the left. You should be able to see uh, some sedans and possibly even some uh, SUVs being displayed. Now in my test yesterday, I actually found one more thing that the system detects that I didn't mention in my previous runs. Um, it actually sees buses now. Pedestrians, motorcycles, sedans, small trucks, SUVs, semi-trucks, and buses. That's what it sees currently. Uh, I feel fairly confident that uh, Tesla will expand the feature set in the near future so it'll detect even more things. The big one that we're waiting for, of course, is things like street signs and street lights. That is critical uh, for making sure that autopilot behaves even better and, of course, ushers in things like full self-driving. So here we have a car here approaching on my left-hand side. You can see that it's a sedan. And I'm going to get into the other lane, and you can see the autopilot system is certainly displaying the lanes properly on the screen. And you want to watch things like the blind spot monitoring systems. You'll see a lot of cars coming up on the uh, on my right hand side. And there's one car approaching me from the rear, and you can see that the rear camera is also picking up that car. I think it is, anyways. We're going to do a little test here. We're going to go and block off the rear camera, and we'll see what the system sees. Okay, so we've now blocked off the rear camera. Let's take a look and see if it makes any difference. Now here's a car that's approaching me. Let's just see if it's the camera sees it this time. Hmm, nothing that time. Well, I never really suspected any uh, real big changes on the rear camera, so let's go and park for a second and uh, we'll put a couple pieces of tape. Um, let's try the side repeaters first and see what difference that makes. All right, the next one here we'll do is uh, block off the side repeater cameras. I'll do this on both sides. All right, I've now taped over the two side repeater cameras. Those are the ones that are forward uh, looking uh, backwards slightly in the blinkers. And we're gonna see if the uh, autopilot system makes any kind of changes or differences. So uh, autopilot is still seeing the cars to a little bit to the side of me and up towards the front. But now I seem to, once the car gets past me now, I can't see us, can't see quite as much behind. Oh, we got an error message. Surround vehicle display is limited. Aha. So now that's what happens. For those of you who are asking, if the autopilot system finds any kind of obs um, obscured cameras, dirt, whatever malfunctions, that you uh, do get an error message on your screen. There you go. Of course, the car is uh, struggling now. It can't show me the cars that are behind me because I have the rear camera and the two side repeaters blocked off. So let's go and block off the cameras on the B pillars this time and see what kind of differences that makes. There we go. All right, let's try that as a test. So now I've blocked off the cameras that are in the B pillars. Those are the cameras here on the side posts on either side of the car. These cameras look um, forward, side and forward. And of course we still have our error message on the autopilot system. So I'm still getting my auto steer icon. I haven't used autopilot yet, but uh, it still sees uh, the pickup truck in front of me. It's being displayed as an SUV. All right, so we're still seeing the car in front of us. Let's move over to the other lane. Uh, the autopilot system is still seeing the lane markings, of course. 
I'm still getting my uh, auto steer icon, which is good. Cruise control is not disabled, so that's still working. So it saw the SUV, the Range Rover here on the left-hand side, and no vehicle coming up on the side now. So it's definitely just the front cameras now. Let's see here, is anything coming up? Nobody behind, yeah, there's somebody behind me, but the camera's not picking that up either. Well, it's pretty much as I suspected, most of the cameras. We're gonna do one more test, and we're gonna block off all three cameras that, that are forward-facing here in the housing, and uh, we'll see what kind of difference that makes. All right, I think that's sufficiently covered up. Let's give that a go. Remember kids, I'm a trained non-professional. All right, all three front cameras now are obscured. So all of the cameras in, car, in the car are completely obscured. Well, let's see what the system sees. Hey, we still see a car there. Aha, well, that's the front facing radar. So the radar is certainly part of the visualization system. Let's see if it sees any lines or we get auto steer or anything like that. Well, let's just move along here. Okay, we're not seeing anything at all. Now there's a car in front of me, but he's off to the side, and the other one's just too far distant. Let's get in behind this guy. Again, we have no lane markings whatsoever, so auto steer is just not present at all. And I see the car in front of me. So that, again, that's the radar system. I don't have auto steer, nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly pull over here and I'm going to pull off maybe one piece of tape off the front camera and we'll see if that makes a difference. All right, change of plans. I changed my mind. I decided to leave the front camera obscured and I just pulled off the two pieces of tape on the B pillars and let's see if it makes any difference as far as visualization is concerned. Still have the error message on our screen. Okay, so we are getting a little bit. So the SUV, as soon as I pass it, visualized. Uh, we're still getting the front-facing radar. So there's a point as to when uh, cars are seen. This would have been a perfect opportunity to show you pedestrians, but <laughs> my camera's covered up. Even the radar seems to be struggling a little bit. There seems to be a minimum distance that it has to be able to see vehicles. Again, uh, typically the pickup truck in front of me would be displayed as a uh, SUV. So right rear, what we're getting right now is strictly the radar data that detects a vehicle, but it can't distinguish uh, what kind of car it is. So let's pull over and I'm gonna pull off one more piece of tape. And that is going to be the uh, front facing camera. I'm gonna try and unobscure it just a tiny little bit and see if we get auto steer or any more data come back. All right, last test, here we go. I've just pulled off one tiny little strip of tape off the front camera. And uh, the B pillars are still open, but the side repeaters are still covered up. And let's see if uh, we can get a little bit of autopilot to come back. All right, I'm gonna have to stop here. Let's see, it's all that car beside me. It's definitely a sedan. So the side facing cameras, the one on the B pillars is just able to see this car but I still have the side repeating uh, repeaters, the blinkers, if you will. Those are the um, forward and back looking cameras. Those are still uh, taped up. And I still have the rear camera taped up as well. That's why you're not seeing that other car behind me. Let's see if we get auto steer to come back. Yeah, it's definitely seeing the lines. Let's turn it back on. Yeah, it's working. It's slowing down. I'll just disable it for now. Let's see what our visualization sees here. Okay, so it freaked out for a second. It saw that car beside us, definitely a sedan. But then it thought it was an SUV. Okay, so the B-pillar camera is definitely picking up this SUV beside me. So it's definitely determining that. There's another car right behind me and it should be coming up as an SUV. It's definitely a pickup, but these are displayed as SUVs and it doesn't see it. Ah, there it goes, it just saw it there. Well, there you have it, definitive proof that Tesla is indeed using all eight cameras in version nine for the visual system for displaying on the screen as to what its surroundings are for the blind spot monitoring. Um, I have enhanced hall pilot. Of course, I haven't paid for full self-driving. Not that it matters anyways, because full self-driving is not here, 
but uh, there you go your blind spot monitoring is all controlled by all eight cameras now I never covered up any of the sensors or the radar because you just really can't um, but uh, you can at least see that some parts at least the vehicle detection directly in front of you that the radar is definitely part of that but it really does need all eight cameras so there you have it thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll uh, we'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching see you later